Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Jerry and Nalma again. Hello. And for today's video, we'll share with you our experience in house hunting. Wait a minute, what happened to your channel, honey? My channel got demonetized, guys. What do so. you do? I don't know, it's your <laughs> Yeah. You kept watching videos. Evidently, <laughs> you can't watch your own video because I had this account and I guess I watched it a couple t 10 times answering the comments on it and they don't like that. So uh, they said, well, plus I think it was 23 Filipino views so they weren't making any money anyway. So uh, no American views. So you Americans watch. Well, yeah. So we use my husband's account now right. to upload more videos. So yeah, that's and, it. And again, we're not worried about the money, but we might as well just switch it over to this one anyway. Although we are buying a house, so if you want to <laughs> donate people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, just we don't kidding, guys. we don't need any money, please. Don't yeah. start that. I don't want, you know, some mm -hmm. of these uh, vloggers, Andy Omar, or somebody like this, uh, big talking big. about, yeah, I don't need any of that drama. So anyway, we're looking for a house. The intention when we moved here was to buy a house and live in there. I plan on this being the last house that I'm going to buy and be in, um, you know, unless she kicks me out because I have to put it in your name. Yes, it's going to be on my name because he can't own a house in the uh, Philippines, though. Yeah, all my leverage in this relationship is going to go away mm -hmm. as soon as I do that. So, I don't know. Um, if you don't hear from me after I buy the house, please <laughs> notify somebody. Please <laughs> notify the proper authorities. <laughs> you better be nice, honey. Yeah. I'm nice. Am I not nice? No. Ah, you be quiet. <laughs> anyway, so we're looking for some houses. What what we want um, is something. I, I kind of have three criteria, right? Yes. We want to be able to move into it without ripping the house down and starting from scratch. Yep. And it's amazing that that that's not some of the houses that are for sale here. It's, it's yeah. incredibly. The uh, pictures are different from actual. Yeah. So. And some of them look bad. We we're, we will show you one here where. Um, yeah, the, the ceiling is coming down. I guess that's easy access to put insulation in if you wanted to, um, you know. But anyway, maybe we, we saw that one that had a hole in the ceiling and I pulled it down a little bit and uh, you could see the rotting wood in the, the, <laughs> on, yeah, of the roof, nice. not just the ceiling. Yeah. Um, that house really would need some, some major renovation. So we're gonna share a couple of these with you. No offense to anybody. Again, some, some you know, what, what we want is we need to be able to move into it and live yeah, there, right? Yeah, we will move right away if we can so that we don't have to pay a rent, right? right? That's yeah. the point, so that we don't have to pay a rent. Absolutely. So, and, uh, you know, again, some, some repairs we can do, I can live with. I'm not, yeah. you know, um, overly um, choosy. choosy about certain <laughs> things like that. But I want something, you know, that, yeah. I, you know, I need an air conditioner. I need, you know... A bed. bathroom. I need, yeah, we need a bathroom <laughs> that we can, that I can, can actually use. get into. <laughs> the second thing that we want is we want to have a little bit of property where and maybe put a pool in there because again we have the pool here and I've been exercising pretty good there. Um, yeah. And uh, maybe, yeah, I know it doesn't look like it. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's exercising, guys, you see. <laughs> uh, anyway, I can walk a little bit better these days. The third thing is access, you oh, know, road. with the road, with the car. I don't need, you know... Uh, Rough road. Uh, yeah, that... the, the, a lot of the roads here are just unpassable. Yeah. We have a tiny little car, and still some of these roads, they're main, they're, some of the roads are meant for Scooter scooters. Only. Some are not meant for, I don't know how they get there to begin with. Well, we literally, honey. Yeah, we literally <laughs> went to one house that there was no road to yeah, it. So, can't um, go. you know, literally no, no road. Uh, so those are my three, our three criteria. It has to be somewhat livable, somewhat um, accessible. accessible, and maybe a little land to put a pool in. Yeah. Unless it's totally perfect and we like it. Yeah, you know. no. And we have a budget too. You know, it's less than a hundred thousand dollars. That's five five million pesos. Um, I don't want to. Yeah, and we we don't <laughs> want you know 
we're not looking for the Taj Mahal with this. But, <laughs> um, so let's show the first video. Okay. This house has 283 square meter la area. It is located in Bongbong, Valencia, and they're selling it for 3.5 million pesos. It has three bedroom and two bath, and this is the living room. And next to it is the kitchen and the dining area. So this is the first bedroom of the house and it has bathroom inside. Next to it is another small room and across the living room is the master's bedroom. The master's bedroom has big size bed and it has hot and cold shower and a bathtub. It is closer and more space here to put your stuff. So this is the front of the house, the bedroom, and this is the master's bathroom. So the first house that we went to is located in Bongbong, Valencia. They're selling it for 3.5 million and it's less than one year old house. Right. And uh, you know, it was a nice house and everybody knows here that it's cooler in Valencia. <laughs> it's cooler here guys. So everybody's, what, everybody <laughs> want to stay here. I, I haven't noticed that yet. I've been here <laughs> five months. And it's been uh. broiling hot and humid every single day <laughs> that I've lived here. But everybody is convinced that it is much cooler Older. here. So. so that it's a good location just because of the name of Valencia. Everybody. Yes. Um, so what was bad about it? The road going to the house is rough road. And we're not sure if they have right away. And it's like. We're not sure if it's yeah, accessible. We right couldn't now. find it. They said that it was in back of a school. Elementary school, yeah. And we literally one day took an hour to drive everywhere yes. around that we could. <laughs> and we couldn't find it. Yep. We finally talked to an agent, got an agent to go there. And it was on this one little goat trail that we didn't go on. Yes, the because only one. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it's not the way yeah. to go. There's no so. way it could be down there. Yeah. There it was. There you go. So that's strike one on it. The house was decent. It wasn't yes. falling apart. Yes. It was livable. Yep. It was a nice, you know, good enough. Good house. Um, good enough house that you could maybe do some other things with. Um, the rooms were small. The bathroom was small. But livable it wasn't yes, moldy livable. and falling yeah. apart right yeah it did have enough property there too but the way that it was configured you couldn't really do anything else with it because the house was here and then the driveway they had a paved driveway and that's really the only way that you could go in there oh and it was it, it you would have to almost park the car outside of the fence yeah. if you were going to build anything else in, in that where that was so those were two strikes against it so it didn't fit us but somebody will buy it yep those people that don't need a lot of space this is right this is good but yeah foreigner that right? yeah that just wants to go park his bike there yeah, park his car there scooters. move in there yeah. you know it's livable very very livable this house is located at Kadawinunan Domagetti. This is the living room, the dining area, and kitchen area. So this is the window right here, and ceiling right next to it is the bathroom 
and it has regular Filipino shower on it. Next to it is the first bedroom. It has glass window. It's not painted. And the ceiling are coming apart. It is made of wood also. Next to it is the second bedroom with more windows and the two bedrooms are quite the same in size and yeah there's a flip bed to this one <laughs> so this is the front of the house and they're selling this property for three million and it's located next to the cemented road so the second house that we saw is designed with a bamboo. So half of it are concrete and half but are bamboo. My daughter's so. trying to make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the problem with that house, honey? Um. Okay. So what was the, what was nice about that house? That okay. that house had a concrete road right yes. to it. So it had concrete. No, no problem, problem with the driveway, driveway. no problem getting in there at all. Yes. The lot right. was a good sized lot. It was 500 and it was configured where the house was, it was longer rectangle yeah, this way. Yeah. So the house was over here. So it had a lot of space on the left hand side of it that you could do whatever you wanted to put in a garden. Had a lot of trees in there, full grown trees. You could yes. keep it like that and actually it would be fine for you. Um, for us to put a pool in there and, and it did have the space for that, we'd have to get rid of most of the trees over there. Yep. But it did have access for the pool, so the lot was fine. Yeah. The road was it's accessible, which is really, you know, very good. Yeah, you? yeah, it's less than 50% of the places have some kind of a concreted road right to the house that yes. we've seen so far. Yeah, um, the problem is the house is need to a total renovation yeah we need that you saw the house you saw me pulling down the yeah. rotted wood looking up the into ceiling the ceiling is, yeah. <laughs> so, coming apart um, the bathroom needs to yeah. renovate also so, yeah the whole the whole roof is made out of wood and that's yeah. fine in some locations not here in the philippines the termites will get to them yeah. this one was definitely falling apart it that roof you know I mean, in America, you couldn't get away with selling yeah, a house God. like that. <laughs> yeah. um, that would that would be condemned easily. Yes. That entire roof needs to come off. Yeah, and the wall of the house is made of bamboo, yes. and it needs to be replaced. So yeah. literally, it's like so half of the house. It had a nice kitchen in it that looked yeah. good. That had a, a cabinet. That part of the house is concrete good. walls. Yes. Um, but as you come into the living room living and get room. to the bedroom. It's mostly wood, bamboo yeah. structure. It's not a concrete house. Yeah. Um, the rooms are small. The bathroom was very bad. Yeah, um, need, the, the kitchen was nice, and and the ceiling in the living room, some of the art. Yeah. But literally, if we were to buy that house, we'd really have to take it to the ground. Yes. Take it to, you know, maybe leave the concrete walls that are there. Maybe extend out a little bit to give a better bathroom. Um, bedroom situation for us to to do which is doable but it would really have to come down right yeah it's, that's why we skip to the house also because yeah it's need totally re, we need to redo the entire yeah. house if we ever bought the property it's, it's hard and to find all three of these things that are good uh, yeah. a, a move inable house yeah the lot size big enough to do something with it and then and then access driving there because uh yeah, we found a lot that are two out of the three here. This would be one. How much was this house? Three million. Right. It was actually 3.5 when yeah. we looked at it, right? Yeah, then <laughs> after a week, they, we lower it for three million, yeah. but still it's in the market. Right. So. And I told them the land was worth 1.2 million and the house is worth nothing. So, yeah, so I mean, they, I'd give them one and a half for the land, you know. Yeah, and they don't. 
Yeah, they never call. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe because my father has no subscribers. <laughs> yeah. So see you on our next journey, guys. Bye. Bye.